Hey everybody. Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Flat Recreations. I am getting ready to do knives in the shop for the first time. I got my exhaust vent going. Um, I'll get that turned on here in a second. Um, I have my vise that I've been using outside for the past four years, five years maybe. Um, I finally brought it inside because I have an exhaust system now that I'm gonna try. Um, but I need to do some work to it first because as you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. Lots of rust. It has literally been left out in the elements for four years. It hasn't been, I don't, I don't think I've brought it in once. So I'm just trying to uh, basically just lube up the screw. You can see I don't have a lot of room coming off. If I did it that way, it should give me enough. Let's try this. Because that would make things a lot easier. And this is on the uh, concrete board. Um, it's on the board that I have the kiln right here next to locked into. Oh, that's really tippy. Well, let's get the second one on there. So I'm using C-clamps to pin it down. Let's see if I can loosen this up a little more. Uh, there we go. Ooh. I might try taking this apart a little farther. Is this one that I can get to from the underneath? Some of these we can get through, get to the underside. If that's the case, we can. Oh, there goes Mount Sodorus and one of the pipe clamps. There's another pipe clamp. So if you're doing round stock or round, something round in here, you can clamp onto them with this also. Let's put Mount Sodorus right up here. Get rid of these. Okay. So all I have right now in the house, in the house, in my shop, is this marine boat and trailer. Boat, trailer, and equipment grease. So we're going to use a little bit of that. This little C right here, that channel, is what allows this to move. So we're basically just going to put some grease in here, and it should loosen up. that in there and I'm trying to push it underneath get it over as far as I can and I'm not using a ton eventually it will all get spread around And I didn't have to pop this. They have these plastic ends on one end. So you just take that plastic end off and you can get in here. 
or you can get it into the grease. All right, so now I'm gonna clean this up. I don't want all this stuff on my bench. All right. And my handy dandy shirt is nowhere. Paper towels. Woohoo! Right. So, unfortunately, the next time I gotta do this, my, uh, my uh, vacuum machine will be right here but I have another piece of concrete board that I'll be able to to use Take out the screw. It looks like there's still some lubrication on there. So that's good. What I really want to get is this end here, the front side, because that's where this handle is. I think most of the problem twisting is coming from up here not so much in the back. So, you can kind of see how far out it's come. So I think I have a bunch of the shop figured out as to how I'm going to have everything set up in its final destination. So I have my kiln to paint, and this thing opens a long ways, it's probably six inches. Okay, there we go. So, that's the end of the screw. This should pull out now. So we got a, we got a ring right here. Um, I think I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver and try and pop that off of there. I don't know if this one's big enough. It's almost off of there. Glasses on here. I guess that's all I really needed to do, right? Oh, it did bend. Okay, well, that's okay. I'll take it because that gets us all 
Alright, so we got the screw off of there. This guy just ended up bending. So this is what I was wanting to get to, right here. Um, will my drill fit this? Cigar. It was worth a shot. I'm still gonna get some sandpaper. Where to put the good stuff? I thought I had some stronger stuff here, but I guess I don't. But we're just trying to take off this uh, rust here. knives to do but it's 30 degrees outside and I got a nice little heater right over here all right so that took off all the surface most of the surface stuff the big stuff anyways so I'm gonna push this in here a little bit all this up. I want to make sure I get this face so most of this isn't gonna get hot because all the heat gets stays up here for the most part and I'm gonna go ahead and lube up the back end of this and the middle you don't have to get it in all the way around you just want to make sure you get it really in a solid line because it's going to push that stuff out through the through the threads This guy back. Right. What I don't want is all this oil back here or grease. There we go. That's better. Start winding this thing back in here. Make sure it's not cross threading. Also going to do the slide down here. Just put a pretty good chunk right up there on the front. 
Because again, that's all going to get pushed back towards us. Push that grease down that's getting pushed out. Same thing with the threads. I forgot to put in the <laughs> the stop. But it's definitely going easier. start pointing into itself. Should just be sliding through. Alright, let's get this guy put back in there. Over here, we'll just finish wiping this off or on. Why not? Just enough to get that on there and then I'm going to take and try and pinch this guy down
These are not the pliers for this. But it is just what I have in front of me. should work. So I'm just trying to squish this together without breaking it. See if I can get it partially going on this. If only I had a vise to hold this. Ha ha. I think that got it. Okay, that's in there. this thing so I can move it, tighten it up a little bit. <laughs> I know I didn't take it apart that far, so the rest of that must have all been just rust. I bet it's just free spinning underneath. So this is the vise that I use for all the knives. And we're gonna test it out here in just a second to see how it turns or how it works. Sweet. That's gonna be nice.
and I'll probably end up going over the whole thing with some oil of some sort. Um, I do have this new rust stuff, but I'll clean it up first. I'll probably do take a wire brush to it and clean it up. And after I clean it up, then I'll put that rust stuff on there and we'll see how that works. Um, but let's give this a test and we're going to see if the smoke actually goes out my vent. Um, where are you guys? Right there, I think you can see it. It's a little light spot. Okay. Put these guys back on so I don't lose them. You can go there, and you can go there. They'll probably end up going in the drawer with all my torch heads. All right. Alexa, turn on my vent. Alexa, turn on my vent fan. Turn on my exhaust. Alexa, turn on my exhaust. There we go. I gotta remember what I call it. Alexa, turn on my exhaust fan. My exhaust vent. Okay, where did it go? Alexa, turn on my exhaust fan. lightning. Alexa, turn on my exhaust vent. There we go. So I have the exhaust vent for my kiln here. And then also my 3D printing box. This all needs venting. And I know from over, over at my bench, that you can barely hear it on the video. So I'm happy about that. I actually have the fan down below it's 1,590 CFM, so it's pulling some good air. Uh, so let's get this guy done, and we'll see how we do. Let's put Mount Sauterus back. There we go. That's his spot. done it sideways for so long. It feels weird. Okay. So another thing that I'm going to do is the last couple of times after watching Shauna do it, I've tried, I've started using my hands. So I have a bucket of water here for my knives, which I'll be pulling off with my pliers. 
and um, so these will go up and they'll go in here into this pan below you. It's an old kind of just a tiny grill pan thing. So right now I'm just trying to make to test that guy to make sure I can do this in here safely. Alright, so I got my glasses on. I only want to heat up right here. I have silver and stuff right here next to me. I don't want it squirting out everywhere. We know there's a little fin that comes up through here because this is a pinched. Pattern. I'm just kind of waiting for it to wiggle. There we go, it's wiggling now. I'm going to pull it up. There we go. Now I'll just take this and I'll heat it up. Put it at an angle, and you can see more of the solder come out of there. And then I take, and I'll tap it all down to the end, especially on these, because these are going to get cut down past that. And then this will go here, and into the water. Not really seeing any smoke or anything. Let's put this on here and see if we can get some smoke. smelling anything so that's good all right so I think that will work I'm not seeing any smoke I can't smell anything so all right um, I got a lot of work to do. Got about 130 of these to make. So you guys don't want to want to watch that again. So I'll save you that and I'll just get this posted and I'll see you guys next time. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, shop's almost done. So I'm going to be on video a lot more. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you later.